great, great. Uh, look like we got the makings of a great football team, so it was good. I guess where are you health wise? I mean, I know you had a bunch of surgeries throughout your career, but fully healthy, 100% ready to go, no problems. We ain't worry about nothing. We ready to go. So what was the last thing you had to get cleaned up? Probably my shoulder. Not this past spring, but the spring before that. Okay, so you've been clean since then. Yeah, so I've been yeah. healthy since. So you, so you just wear this right here just as extra padding? Yeah, this is a little precaution, you know. You can never be too careful in practice. I guess how does it feel to be completely healthy and just be able to play and practice? <sighs> Great, I, this is a feeling that was born in me for a long time. Probably since going into my sophomore year, so I'm blessed. Honestly, I'm blessed. Couldn't be more excited. I saw you out there on punt coverage. Is that something you're comfortable back there doing? Oh, yeah. I just hope I get a pass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. All seriousness, though. Yeah, I mean, whatever my team needs, so I'm cool with it. What is the team's mentality kind of replacing uh, Rook and Tyler Davis uh, last year's defensive tackle for you guys to kind of pick up from where they left off? No drop off. I feel like we got brought here for the same reason, for the same reason they did. So just because they left, there should be no drop off in the Clemson defensive tackle room, because this university has a standard of defense tackles that we gotta uphold. So we don't keep that, we don't carry that lightly. So yeah, no drop off. How, how did it feel for you to get to come back, back into last season and kind of get some momentum, get some snaps, get some reps uh, it was, into this year? It was cool, but it definitely left me hungry for more. Um, that's why I'm excited for this season. Like it wasn't enough for me. I want, I want, I want more. So yeah, I'm excited for this season. What, um, how would you describe this defensive tackle group? I mean, as far as the groups you've played with, is it as deep as any group you've been with? I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, I feel like when has the Clemson defensive tackle room not been deep? Like, you got to think, even back in 2015, 2014, 2012, all those teams, we always been deep. This, this D-line you, this D-tackle you. So I feel like we always been deep. But as far as comparing it to the other teams, I feel like we're right on par with everybody else. It seemed like Nick Eason really ramped up the intensity today, really to kick off practice. Just what does he continue to bring to the staff? Um, I feel like Coach Eason has been a blessing for all of us. I mean, he's just teaching us how to be elite defensive tackles. and But more importantly, he's teaching us how to be better men off the field. So I'm forever grateful for Coach Eason and everything he's done for us. And I can't wait to continue getting coached by him. How's the offensive line look with you guys going up against them with uh, Coach Matt Luke coaching at you? And They're amazing. They're amazing. I feel like people disrespect our offensive line a lot, and they're gonna show a lot of people this year who they really are. So, yeah, they're they're amazing. How's the battle been up front against? Uh, I guess a little come starting at center for you guys. Or how's that been going up against him and Noah Sewell and Trent Howard and everybody? Else? Harris Sewell. Harris Sewell, excuse me. But yeah, it's been great, man. Those guys are all competitors, just like us, and we go head to head every day. But you know, we got best on right now. We're going to see on Monday what it's really talking about, but from the first couple of days I've seen, it looked like a whole different group. In Charlotte, Barrett, Carter, and RJ Makins were talking about the added hunger for this defense. How is this defensive line sort of carrying that hunger with you guys on this defense? Um, I feel like last year we finished top eight in total defense, and that's not where we want to be. We want to be the number one defense in the country, and we feel like we have all the pieces for that, regardless of who left, who's here, who's not. I feel like this team we have right here right now wants to be the number one defense in the country. And every day in practice, we're going out there to prove that. Anything else for Trey? Kind of a random one, but I don't think you're in the video game right now. Mm -mm. Uh, do you decide not to, or just paperwork thing, or what, what's going on there? I'll be an update. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you just miss the initial wave, or? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll be an update. Okay, guys. you'll be in the update so. one. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Yeah.